Hello everybody, Jake Thorne here with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. So today we're in Sonora, Texas at the Bar 7 Ranch collecting fecal samples from potential replacement ewe lambs. Uh, so these samples will be analyzed at the Texas AgriLife Fecal Egg Counting Lab in San Angelo. And those results will provide some insight into the natural resistance ability of these ewe lambs to Barber's Pulpworm, or Humacus contortus, which is a significant issue to many Texas producers. So today, I want to walk you through the process of how we collect those samples on farm. Uh, so we're actually working through about 200 ewe lambs this morning, and that can either be a two-hour job or an all-day job. And so there's a few critical elements that make it much more efficient and more safe for both animal and human. Uh, the first of which is to have a functional set of pens like we've got here. So these are permanent pens. They could be temporary, uh, but we found that the most effective is to have either a 10 by 10 crowd pen or to work in a drenching alley like we've got here, about three or four feet wide. It just really reduces the amount of labor needed to catch, collect, and move from animal to animal. Now, if you've just got a few animals, uh, you can collect that sample directly from the sheep just with a gloved hand. Uh, but in larger contemporary groups like we've got today, we suggest acquiring a speculum, which can be purchased from many medical supply companies and just makes the job a lot easier. So how this works is we're actually gonna have somebody catch the, the sheep here. Go in, we're gonna collect our sample. Uh, we actually use some disinfectant and water between each sheep to make sure that speculum is disinfected. And I've got about uh, 20 pellets or, here, or so here. What's required for the analysis is two grams, which is, I would say a good uh, benchmark to keep in mind is about six pellets at minimum. On uh, smaller lambs where the pellets are smaller, try to get at least 10, but uh, about six or about the amount that would fit inside of a ping pong ball is ideal. That's gonna be placed in a plastic cup um, these are disposable plastic cups. You can use um, plastic cups that can be reused or even plastic sandwich bags work just fine. We write that animal's ID number directly on the lid there and then they're placed in a cooler uh, directly on ice or cool packs. Once those samples have been collected and uh, chilled down, they can remain good for about seven days uh, before they're analyzed. So with all that said, if you have uh, any questions or want some more information about having this analysis done, email the Texas AgriLife FEC Lab at ag.tamu.edu and we'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, so with that said, we're going to get back to work. We've got a long day ahead of us, uh, but thank you for your time and have a good day.